Hello everybody, welcome back to Creeper World 3 Arc Eternal. We continue our journey through the Alpha Sector Cave Maniac system. No pause, blind gameplay as always, and I think we are going to go with Leapfrog next. There's lots of options, Pamukkale, Descender, maybe Pop-Up, Rift World, Runner Watch. They all seem to be Stairway 13. They all seem to be very similar in terms of how big they are. Obviously, like Landscape Abuse 101, that's going to be the last one. But the rest of these could almost go in any order. Just Leapfrog looks a little bigger to me, and then I'm probably just going to pick the rest of them. Uh, sort of at random. So let's see what's going on with Leapfrog. Totally blank for our preview. Okay, we've got flat situation. We've got some emitters of, it looks like, differing strengths. Got all three of these available. But it doesn't look like we've got... Oh boy, there's a nice packet. There's groups of things here. I think we got to grab one of those for sure. The question is, where can we go that's reasonably far away from an emitter? I think is the, is the question I'm looking at here. Let's see, emitters here. We've got a couple of artifacts. Those could be nice, could be useful. Like over here in the corner could work. And we could, this is one of those we could go multiple places on, but I prefer not to do that. And wherever we go, we're going to be dealing with runners. So we're going to need to deal with those, like, almost immediately. That's going to be a problem. There's nowhere to get away from the Digitalis. It would be nice to be in a place, and you can see, like, it's just one big strand. So it would be nice to be in a place that could, I don't know, potentially cut it in half or cut off a section of it. Air exclusion there. I think I want to try this corner, and I'm not sure if this is the right idea, but it's what I'm going to go with. So let's just go ahead and throw a few, I don't know, uh, yeah, that's a, that's going to be all I'm going to be able to do. There's not, boy, I, I don't know about this, because there's not much room to do anything. I definitely got to get a, uh, got to get a cannon up in both directions for sure. Then do I just hope they can hold it off while I nullify? We got plenty of energy. So if we nullify this and then gradually expand, I don't have a better idea. We're about even on uh, energy here and we're not even shooting with this one. Yeah, see this is coming Okay, let's let's move you inside the ring if we can. Yep, and now you're going to have problems. Come on, fire. Don't get blown up, fire. Okay, now let's put up another cannon. Okay, we're losing all kinds of stuff here. I don't think it's going to work. We're going to make you Digitalis. Yeah, you're just getting stunned. So, this does not appear to be working. The question is, what do I do better or different? I'm not sure I have the answer to that. We're going to be getting spores soon how do I find a secure place to survive okay let's restart and I think I gotta go with one I'm gonna try the same corner I don't know that I've got a better place and I'm gonna go with only one only the one command node see we've got um, energy or aether but I don't think we, we can't use them really right away. Let's see. Collector. Okay, let me try. You know what? I don't know if we have enough energy for this, but I'm going to try four of these. Two Digitalis on each way. Any way we can prevent the Digitalis from coming in. Yeah, we're short on energy here. Digitalis is slower coming in from this way. I have to admit, I'm just sort of confused about what to do here. 
The corners are the latest, are the last to get hit. Do I want to start at the end of the road? Because this over here... Yeah, we don't have enough energy. I'm going to try starting over in that far right corner. Let's try this. Because here we've just got this one. It's got a curve all the way around here. I'm just thinking it comes from there, but maybe this gives us more time. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't do me a darn bit of good. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's just sort of do like that. And then, obviously we're going to need at least a couple of Digitalis and one standard cannon. Let's try that. Like if these two, well, we could build them somewhere else, but let's just get those to begin with. Come on. Build, build, build. Okay, let's deactivate you for the moment. Because I need that one built. I need it now. Okay, now if we activate you, well, there goes that. I just don't, I don't see how to protect this long enough. Because even if we could survive like this, we're going to get hit by spores. Okay, I'm going to try a different idea. What if, and I'm just going to try this on one corner this time. What if I'm just going here, building a couple of these, and doing a nullifier. And see, the thing is, if we did this, oh, there's a Thor, how nice. Too bad we'll never get to use it. So we're just going to get killed. But if we went here, another nullifier. And I don't, I don't know that these even help. Okay, so if we nullify more of those, I mean, that's going to help us in the long term. But the idea here is get up here. And then let's, as soon as that powers up, have that power cannon to defend us. Okay, now we're going to place that. Can I build it in time and then put it on there as a Digitalis cannon? But then, you know, we've still got the problem of everything coming in. Okay, now you go up there. Let's see if I try to build here. Because, see, now we're able to defend... Ah. We're able to defend against the Digitalis. But that's it. So what if I prioritize Creeper? I mean, we can... Okay, we can guard some. And now maybe we switch back to Digitalis. Because we've got a regular Creeper one up. But this is still, um, you know, like, how do we defend against the spores that are going to be coming? Never mind all of, you know, these creepy crawlies. Now, I think this can hold off the Digitalis enough. Let's, uh, let's deactivate this for a bit. Now, we do have these things along the side. But they're not going to give me hardly any, you know, income. It's not none. Well, it basically is none. Yeah, and then now we're going to get absolutely killed. There's no way... Boom, boom, boom. All of these spores coming. So I guess I've got to try to do this in one area and make something more out of it. So I could put like some sort of reactor or whatever up here, but then I don't have... You can grab, like, if you could grab the energy from these real quick. But I don't know that I can get it fast enough for that to matter. 
I'm gonna try that and just see how fast. Is there any one of those that's farther away from the enemy? Like, let's say we went for these and maybe shields. It's not gonna be nearly fast enough. I just can't build it fast enough. What can I build fast enough? Yeah, now the Digitalis is gonna suck that up. Like maybe the idea is, let's try something a little bit different. You know, and then I, since I've got all kinds of energy, let's build a few reactors and a nullifier. I think the idea is just use all this energy, get a couple weapons up. Let's see, one, two, three of these. Uh, maybe a sniper and a beam. And we just lost it. So, like, we, we ran out of energy to figure out how much energy we can get from one of those and then what can we do with it that's useful. Because we did get a couple of weapons out of this. I mean, obviously, I, yeah, I built too much here, but that might be a thing that I can do if I get the right amount. I don't think I can get weapons up fast enough to make any difference, but I was able to get a few reactors. And then I could turn those eventually into something more helpful. I hope. So let's just see about getting another cannon up. This is building here. Okay, we lost that one. That's not good. Gonna lose this one soon if we don't. We're probably gonna lose that one anyway. We've got plenty of energy. Oh, this isn't even getting any. It's not even getting any energy. Okay, let's uh, do something like that. Yep, okay, we're not getting any energy here and we're dying. But I think that's the general idea. I'm gonna go with three reactors and then try to get more weapons than that. Like maybe a fourth cannon? Yeah, knocking this out quick so I can use that power zone I think is big. Alright, you climb up there. Let's get a sniper up. Here. Let's make you standard creeper. Let's assume this is going to fall. Let's get another cannon up. So you're you're gonna make sure the Digitalis doesn't get too close. And then let's slide you back here. Okay, let's maybe there. Yeah, my problem is I've gotta move it over here. And then we've got enough energy, but no extra. Let's start building more reactors. How long on the... Okay, we've got about half a minute. Which we're not going to be ready for that. Not going to be close. Yeah, I think, I think the thing is we've got a little cordon here where I don't think I need the sniper. Because... If we keep the Digitalis away, they can't get close enough to do anything. So I can build the Sniper later. Let me try that. So as soon as this goes down, I think I want to start up on more reactors, because I'm going to lose those other two command nodes. And I need more reactors, and then I need uh, beams very, very soon. They're not, they're not built yet, though. We've got a little bit of time, but then we're going to need to build a bunch of them. We've got some energy, so let's get another reactor up. Okay, let's move one of these up here. Maybe put a relay there in the middle. Looks like we've got about 10 or 12 of those coming. Okay, so let's... This would be nice. I think it's a luxury right now, though. I need beams. I really need beams. Let me build four of them and see what that does. I don't know how close that's going to be to being enough. Uh, 
I feel like this is the first non-disaster attempt here. Like this one might have a chance. We are low on energy. We're about a third low, 40% low, but we're not going to be that low for very long. They're going to hit us. The question is, can we fight them off? Here we go. Boom. Boom. Refill. Oh my, these are coming pretty quick. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to handle this many. Nope. We need like six, seven beams minimum. So that wasn't terrible, but it's not good enough. This system is no joke. The, the levels in here are... They're rough. There's no two ways about it. They are rough. Yeah, we don't have time. Now, I think we're going to run out of time here. Probably went a little bit high on the reactors. So there's six. I think I would need at least six to have any chance. And we're not going to have six. We only got one up. Okay. So that's my goal now is to get half a dozen beams. And I don't know that that's enough, but I had four the last time. And I know that wasn't enough, so I'm going to try six. Nope, not going to make it. Restart. Thing. Now, I'm thinking about the ore here, because if I could use... If I could build a sprayer early on and use that ore, I think I want to add that into my little formula here. I'm not sure how to do it, though. I do have a bunch of AC. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to help. You go here and go Digitalis. And then you go here and gradually try to save that. And then if you slide out here and do your lovely always on thing. And then we hit that ore mine. And we start building more reactors. There we go. So now we've got something and we don't need... Maybe if I put you over here, can you still protect this? Most of them are built, starting to fill. I'm not going to have them full, but they're going to have some energy and gradually be filling. Let's find out if that's going to be enough. First two, next two. Here comes a lot more. little bit closer. I think we need like eight at least. Yeah, I've just got to start it better. There's no question. I've got to start it better. This is a rough one. Yeah, now we have no energy because I went a little bit too crazy, so that's not going to last. I need... really need to pay attention to the build order. I think I need... Um, get these... nullifier first reactors, then get those things down. Yet we still didn't get the reactors up. So I've got, I'm, that's still too much. I think I'm gonna leave the ore mine off. I've gotta draw, I'm not, no, I'm not building. I need the nullifier and the reactors before I put up anything else. Because I need them to start drawing off it right away. Let's get a couple of these going. I do want a sprayer. I think I can afford it. We're about to find out. And I would just need more firepower than I have to make that happen. Means while these are about to come, I can't lose. I can't lose one of these. Yep, and I lost. It just took too much time. I need to get those cannons up a little bit faster. Alright, so my attempts at this were getting quite repetitive and annoying, and I did some off-screen practicing. And one of the first things I wanted to do was think outside the box. If you take a look at the map, I thought about, again, about could we go somewhere in the middle? You know, and, and the creeper coming from all sides, closing in, there's no good open spot. Like, you see the corners? 
they're just farther away from any of these emitters and they're all the same well most of them are the same and actually the ones in the middle are stronger which is even a bigger argument to stay around the outside in the corners and then well which corner well all the other corners are worse because this is the one that just has the one digitalis path so when you get that cannon up here it can knock it out back this way and keep the runners away from a certain amount of area the other ones it's got it coming both directions so that job is harder and I've got more ore over here but so what if you can't you know utilize it now this over here is interesting because it flows around this I mean that's that's pretty far away but I don't think it's much farther away than this it's about the same distance it's still got the double Digitalis. So even this, this would be the second best corner, I think. So you could argue for one of these two corners. I still think this one is overall the best. It's got ore pretty close by. They all do, but, you know, it's as close as any of them. And it's got the one Digitalis path. Now, I also thought about trying something like this. What if I put one of these right down here, and I'm just going to try to grab that artifact you know I'll lose the command node and I won't care but what if we can grab this and then like if we were setting up down here we're able to freeze one of these emitters maybe buy ourselves some time how would that work the answer it doesn't really matter how it would work because this is never gonna power up now I even tried putting a second one down here a second command node so they could both feed into it but it will only take energy from one of them at once so that doesn't do us any good either. So I think what I'm left with is that I just need to keep doing the basic thing I was doing. I've just got to find a way to do it better. So after another while of trial and error, I must say mostly error, I admit defeat. There's just no way with my particular mouse skills I am going to be able to do this without pausing. So Leapfrog gets an asterisk. I have developed a, a way though that I think works with pausing. So that's what we're going to explore here. Now I'm going to use the same placement. Of course we want to put these down right away. And this one right here, want to go there. Not there because if I put it just that one spot down prevents me from using that area. We want to do that. We're obviously going to want to have a nullifier here. I'm going to want to have my siphons up, but I'm only going to put one of them up at first. And then it turns out that I think 10 reactors is the best amount. Get into Y in a little bit. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then collectors. I tried putting a couple up in this area. They're not going to survive. They're going to get blown up anyway. So we'll pass on that for now. We will put one here and one here to just sort of get in that general area. We're going to want some weapons. We'll start with a cannon right out there at the beginning. It's going to defend against this area. This is going to be our Digitalis cannon. That's going to move, whoops, it's going to move on to there. And I think I can do this whole first section with three weapons. We shall see. And one right there. This is going to defend in this area initially. And really important to keep in mind that this is going to go away. I didn't find a good way to defend this. I mean, maybe if I put a cannon out there it would work. But I don't think we're going to get it up soon enough. So, didn't find a good way to make that happen. And a lot of that is because of the runners. They just come by and stun it. So we're just going to stick with this. Now, at the outset here... When we unpause, I'm definitely going to want to have almost everything deactivated. There we go. You can see I put the second siphon up there and deactivate one of those. And the basic idea is this command node will build a siphon. Each of these will build a close by collector. And then they won't do anything else until this siphon gets activated. So let's get that moving. Boom, we're live. Now we need to activate everything else. 7.8 seconds into the level. 
Now we want to build all this stuff. And the idea is to drain, get the minimum things that we need otherwise. We need the three cannons. We need the nullifier. And then everything else here, of course, is building towards energy. Got to ramp up the energy very quickly because we're going to need at least eight and hopefully more like ten or so beams to deal with the onslaught of the spores. And I discovered by doing it this way and micromanaging it and everything, I was able, hopefully I'll be able to repeat it here, I was able to get all of these siphons sucked dry before they were destroyed. It's close, but we can do it. There we go. And all our energy goes away and the siphons are draining. And it always drains this one first, no matter which order I build them in. I believe there's 250 energy each. There goes one. And now it's starting to take damage, but we're still okay. Boom. Okay, so that's about the right amount. And then, uh, I, by the way, no point in pulling the ore. I don't think it'll just store it in here. When this gets destroyed, it'll rain down. So I want to save that for later. Now, one thing we'll notice is we're at 5 energy and we're low here. You can see these are all at 47. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave three of them on. And a lot of these are really close to being built, 46, 47, but they're not there. So I'm going to deactivate all of these. So we're only powering this and those until they get up. And there we go. We've got some on. And we'll just activate these bit by bit. And we're going to gradually bring all of our energy online in this way. Of course, there may be a slightly better way to micro this, but I'm not that worried about it. I'm not trying to set any records. I'm just trying to defeat the level. Okay, now everything's up. We've got nine energy. So now what? Well, a couple things. First of all, I want to nullify this because I want to use that spot. And let's just, let's see how our energy handles that. Okay, it's going to slightly improve. So let's add in a couple more reactors. And I just want to keep building up while I'm defending, is the idea. And taking this out is going to be very nice for us. And if I put a collector in here, it would be destroyed there. There we go. Okay, so now you are going to come here. And we've got a good amount of energy. It's going up. So I'm going to add a couple more of these, and I can always deactivate some of those any time that this seems to be going a little bit much. Ooh, I lost the nullifier here. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, because, yep, I should have waited until this was in place, so I made a bit of an error there. Let's just wait for this to get cleared out. We're pretty even on energy. There we go. Yep, still pretty even. I'm going to wait for these to get a little bit, get something completed here with these reactors. There we go. Okay, now we should be safe to do this. And it's a little bit later than I wanted. We'll go ahead and put that in place. And we also should be safe to throw in... Yep, and that's going to be a problem until this dies. There it is. Oh, yep, okay. But now it's gone, and we're going to redo that. we got a bunch of energy here. So I want to string along some more reactors down here. And these are at 75% built, so there's still time. And we're holding pretty steady. Let's see, I'm going to put up the ore mine. And I think we've got enough 
energy, I want to just start putting up beams very cautiously. Yeah, we'll go ahead and deactivate that one now. It's a very slight deficit, which is more than I want. More energy online. We're over 10. And we've got a minute plus on the spores. Some of them. Some of them are at a minute 12 or so. Okay, now that one's exploding. Now I want to... See, let's throw up another beam here. Just some across that area. Now, this will just barely reach. So I want to turn this digitalis and put it right on there. And as soon as it lands, I'm going to make another switch. Why don't I activate you? And let's see, let's put up a couple more of these. Again, I can always turn them off at any time. Come on, get over there. Get over there. This is really kind of tense. There it is. Now that's going to help clear that out, and you're going to switch to Creeper. That way, you should guard against the Creeper. That's only got to fire against the Digitalis. Hopefully, this will work for me. Yep. Good. That's working how I want it to. Now, it's you can see it's holding off here. Not great, but it is stopping it. At least at the moment. I'm going to have to really watch this. And then to sort of supplement, I can put in my always on sprayer. But I don't think I want to do that yet. I want to make sure I get enough beams up. We have six. Yeah, but it's just barely keeping it away from that one reactor. That will not last forever, but I do not need it to last forever. I just need it to last a brief period. And we're having energy problems with filling the beams. So, okay, there we go. Now some of them are getting full. And I think what I want to do is just put... Let's put a couple there. And just throw up a relay right there. That should be pretty helpful. So we've got... Six, eight, nine. Let's just, yeah, let's put you straight out there. See if I can support that. Nope, it's going to die, I think. Maybe, maybe not. It's just close. Now I think I've got enough. Let's activate that sprayer and make this a little bit safer. Those are filling. We're borderline on our energy. A little bit extra. So why don't I just... Yeah, I'll put in one more beam. And here come the spores. So now it's time to see if our work has paid off. So far, so good. And now we're starting to get our ore or out. You can see that's going to push us out a little bit. And we're fighting them off fine so far. So, yeah, okay, now we've got an energy deficit. But in between the salvos, we can fill up. Okay, so now... We are stable, and we don't have to keep pausing. We can just play. So that is all beautiful. Now, I think, obviously, the next step I'm going to want to do, now that we have a bit of a secure area, is just throw in some more. I'm going to put you, like, there. Just throw in a few more reactors. 
Let's boost our energy. Now we're going to get some Aether. We're going to upgrade that. All of that stuff. We've got a Thor that we can build. All of those things are going to happen. Right now we just want to continue to defend. These two power zones doing amazing work. And you're doing almost nothing. Really, you're just there to throw in the occasional shot. So let's, uh, let's move you... I want you to be able to reach close to that edge. Yeah, let's do that. And Digitalis. And then let's build another reactor. Now, we're not at equilibrium yet. We can feel this is pushing down on us, so we do need to still be ramping up. This is not this is not long-term safety we have now. It's safety for the moment. So let's relay here. What I want to do is put the sprayer down there and try to get to this. There's only so much ammunition you're going to have. Let's go ahead and throw in another can another couple cannons over here. Of course, this is going to get very interesting as the spores were always going to continue to come. So I just want to gradually push my, uh, my air defenses outward. Not by a lot, because those runners can be kind of dangerous. I just want to, just want to push them out a little bit. That creates room for more reactors. See if we can secure that. And forward a bit. See if we're close enough for a nullifier. Looks like we've got to get there. So if I put a relay there, I think I'm going to get it. That'd be nice. I mean, that's not a big emitter, but it's the only one in this general area. We're getting a bit of energy maxing out. Let's keep pushing that along. I'm not having any trouble holding back the spores. I just need to make sure that I keep it that way. There we go. There's another emitter gone. Now if I relay let's see here I may just be able to rate it up there. But I want to see how that does. Looks like it's going to be able to survive. I just need to... Oh, I need to get it more energy. It's a little bit out of range. Okay. So that relay there is not sufficient. You go uh, creeper. Let's get... I'm going to want to go to mortars soon, but let's just get a couple more cannons up. So 
this wasn't good enough, but if I put it right in front there, that should be. And then if I go digitalis. Now we should be in business. In theory. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's, uh, let's get the sprayer out there a little more. And I'd like to move you to Creeper. And sort of there. I think I want a mortar now. Let's put a mortar on that. Although, actually, I think I want to think a little more long term. So let's not mortar. Let's slide you up here. Got to clear out enough room. Still not. That's, uh, oh. Yes, of course, that's elevated. That's why it won't work, so we need a turp. But I definitely want to get Bertha power going. Sort of, you know, hold back the flood. Because, again, the pressure is still mounting on us. And I want to start equalizing that, at least slowing it down. Energy starting to become an issue again. We don't want to let that happen. I'm just going to throw up a reactor at a time. And I'm definitely going to need more energy before I can really birth of that. Terraform to one, if you please. Then let's just continue. Slowly building up. We've got so we've got some energy to spare. Let's build a couple of these. Another big wave of spores coming at us. Yep, and a couple of them hitting there. It's not that we don't have enough, they're just not in the right places. Let's uh, spread these out a little bit more. I don't feel comfortable in energy though, especially with the idea of putting up a Bertha. Let's uh, move the turp up there. Maybe put a relay right down there. I think I want to get up to maybe 20 energy here. And then I can come up here like this and I think I just want to start you know knocking out some of these yeah that's too many that's definitely too many let's take down a couple of those for now Part of the leapfrog thing is, yeah, I mean, we can we can clear these areas, we can use them to start knocking out in adjacent, like, sections, which will really help. There we go. Let's go and put you up now. Don't, we're not quite where I wanted to be, but I think we may be close enough. We're going to find out soon.
I want to see about, let's see, Canon there, Digitalis, move you forward. move you there and just see if we can hold this. I think we can. I want to give it a shot. When you're ready, I want you to go on auto. Boom, there it goes. That's three less spores we're going to have to deal with. And then let's go ahead and turp this one down. And these are, it's the same level. So I think I think I want a couple snipers over here. Put a relay over there. Well, that's kind of redundant though, isn't it? This has been flattened out. Add that to our firepower. All right, now I think my next goal is to get the Aether. We're not that far away from this. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we can just connect there. Okay. And then a forge, say here. We're still pretty packed in. But I think that's temporary. Certainly hope it is. With as many reactors as we have, it would not take much. One, yeah, this, okay, these snipers have caught up. And one sniper, or one uh, or two energy upgrades would really make a big, big difference. Forge is powering up. You can power without the forge. Let's have you come up this way. I think overall 
we're doing okay with the two Berthas. Maybe not great, but okay. Grab a couple more reactors. Now the Aether's starting to come in. And energy is a bit slow. I'm I'm going to get one energy storage up, but then I think I just want to grab some energy efficiency as soon as I can. Help grow our way out of this. Yeah, this is coming up pretty close over here. We're struggling a bit to keep up with it now. See what if I if I turned you to creepers? Not gonna make my digitalis not work. I think we're still okay with that digitalis, at least for the moment. Okay, let's boost that energy. You are not doing much. Switch you to Digitalis and move you up here. Gradually what I want is more cannons, more Digitalis cannons so I can get up, cut this off. I want to get over here to grab those. It's a little bit gradual at the moment though. This over here, I just feel like it needs more. Throw another cannon into it. Boost our ore efficiency a bit. We don't have that much, but a little more would be useful. You can move up and go Digitalis. Yeah, we're struggling over here. Oh yeah, we're doing more than struggling. We're falling a freaking part now. That's going to hurt. You are going to come back here. Make sure... Okay, yeah, so we got some rebuilding to do now. Um, yuck. It's not going to take super long. It's just going to be nice and annoying. move one more out this way. Let's put one there. Yeah, and more almost got through. Let's just build. I'm just going to build a couple more. I just want to make sure that doesn't happen again. I think we're definitely reducing the overall creeper levels. I mean, it'd be nice to have another Bertha, but these two are going to do the task. Okay, let's move you up here. I want to gradually start working my way around here now.
grab one more. And I think I mostly want to focus on energy right now. Because if we get a bunch more energy up, then I can get a Thor going and we can move this battle out along a lot faster. Up to almost 30 energy. It's not bad, I want more. Let's see about a couple more cannons. Then, can you fit... Yeah, let's do that. Looks like you're going to successfully be able to clear that out. Now, before I do that, though, I probably just want to use the nullifier platform. And that should work. Let's move you up here to make sure this is guarded. Head up that way. Just I want to start generally expanding up this way. Because once I get this cut off, then I can grab these. Okay. It's only one, but again, it's another source that we don't have to worry about anymore. More energy. These two are really not doing anything and I'd like them to. Let's, let's move up this way and make you go creeper. Bingo. Now we got our siphons. Well, I thought we did. Okay, that, that hadn't totally died yet. Now we've got our siphons. We've got another ore mine coming here. Starting to get some more progress. You move up this way. Start expanding our beams out. Gradually. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of aether coming in. Boost that energy efficiency. Yeah, I think it's time. Are you not on always? You are on always on. We just have more than you are able to handle. Okay. Let's put another one up. And put you, like, out there closer to the front line.
And I think I want to go with the Thor now. It's going to take a while, obviously, always does. Okay, we're going to create more room. Just going to move some things around. There, up here, up here. Really? Not yet? What about there? There we go. And next, let's uh, get our build speed gone. Yep, now we're starting to get that Thor moving. Still going to take a while. And nothing is there. So I'm just going to throw another reactor in place. Get a couple packet speeds. So I want to start just general across the board upgrades. We're definitely going to want you to be transparent. And I think we'll have you use all your guns for now. get some snipers over here so I think I just want to increase this gradual pace as much as I possibly can the last I would say six seven minutes just feel like they've taken forever I'm getting a bit impatient. Lots of lots of runners floating around. I don't think I would be remiss to get a couple more snipers operating on this side. Just want to clear out that population a little faster. Really, there's nothing super deep. Like, I don't think there's anything above about 10 on the whole map. Let's see if we can get that working now.
Definitely got some extra cannons over here. I want you, Digitalis. And you. And let's nullify. Okay, that's going to take this out. And here's our Thor powering up. Okay. Let's get to business here. So now it's just a matter of clearing the map. They are firmly in control of it. And let's see, let's put you over there. Let's grab a couple relays up here. Let's go siphoning. Another ore mine. And we can use the territory that the Thor is clearing out. Nope, I just want... No, I just want the... Yeah, I can't grab what's underneath it. Okay. Just want the cannon. There we go. Oh, looks like we got about a quarter to a third of things eliminated. And yeah, no reason not to just tank off that one. Grab more Aether while we can. We don't necessarily need it. We can still grab it. There's some fire rate. And range. Overdue advances. Okay. Push on. Push on, everybody. The beginning of this level, definitely, definitely a challenge. This is only the second level, of course, in addition to troublesome trains that I have needed to use pause on. I don't think there's any way I could have done it without it, so. Nice to have those siphons as a backup in case we start running low on energy here. And let's see. Let's use that. And that. And we'll throw one in here. get these more towards the front. The constantly moving front now. And we don't need as many beams. It'd still be useful to get them headed in the right direction. Wouldn't hurt to stick a couple of them on power zones just because I can. At this point, most of the resources to grab are sort of superfluous. And 
Knock that out. And this. And that one over there. So we are moving right along. Lost the nullifier. Up here. Not sure why. Nothing there. Okay. The Thor continuing to push along the north. Really just a bit of a struggle to keep all the weapons caught up with it at this point. Do some more upgrades. See, can I hit both of them at once? Looks like I can from there. How's our Thor doing on energy? Yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot, so it's just using whatever it can get. Let's, uh, let's work on that a bit. Let's deploy here. And we could use our uh, artifacts. I just don't see a reason to. And then we can boost our packet speed as well. whole lot left in this little adventure. I assume the Thor is just really meant to let you make quick work of this once you get over the hump. Probably a good idea. Of course, I, now I'm just finding things to do with my time. Adding ore that I don't really need. You're powered and can't do anything, so go away. That one there. Let's get the siphons just because we can. Add more ore that we're not really going to use. 
Go ahead and throw an always on sprayer there. Grab that totem just because. Okay, let's move down in this area. Didn't realize there was still some over here. We'll get rid of that emitter, but it's pretty much all over. Nothing left here, so you can go away. And that should be able to finish it. Especially if we move Mr. Thor right back in. Add more pack than build speed for the fun of it. So yeah, definitely a very challenging to beginning to leapfrog. Um, Got to applaud the level because I tried to manipulate it and come up with any different ways. Maybe there is a better way that somebody without much faster uh, trigger finger on the mouse than me could do it without pausing. May desire an asterisk. It earned an asterisk. It gets an asterisk. But we still ultimately... Claim the victory. Still eight more planets, I think. Yes, eight more to go in Cave Maniac. Not sure where we're going to go next, but that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. More Creeper World 3 will continue.